us issue, which we're trying to get Brian to get us a bigger screen. That's an <laughs> issue. And then the the trip meter is yep. an issue. The satellite How phones, big is the trip meter, uh, Dave? You know, I don't really know. Oh, okay. I'll out email and find out. The uh, satellite phone can go somewhere else. We have... Uh, we need a booster aerial. A uh, booster, well, that's the outside. The what outside. was the other one I had? Um, you had um, trip meter. Oh, the... Uh, um, the recording for the trip, uh, yeah. GPS, trip meter, satellite phone, oh, GoPro. and uh, uh, then the, the other thing for family to be able to get a hold of you. Yeah. Okay. Now what, Brian? And then there was the heater you were concerned about. Well, that has to go. And my espresso machine. <laughs> so these seats, Terry. Yep. Brian, That's on the you. back of the, uh, <laughs> the, the the platform we're building out in the back there for you. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, I, I was suggesting that one of the, the problems is is that uh, these seats would be really uncomfortable over a long period of time. So what I was maybe suggesting is is maybe what we could do is build a box out of wood or something and actually make them like two bucket seats with, you know, put actual bolsters and everything on there. Um, we can do it with the foam and stuff and then, you know, kind of make it sort of still look the same. And we can maybe use this for storage or something. And yeah. fit in the same area without having to cut that back piece out? I, I was actually um, talking about taking the whole interior yep. route uh, with the idea that then we would custom make something to go in there and then put it all, take it all out after the trip and put all right. this back in. Yeah. And then, you okay. know, even when you're looking at here, you could maybe even incorporate stuff into the doors or, you know, when you do a panel, you could, like, if you wanted to put the phone or something here, or, you know, the only other thing that I was thinking about is these panels here, they're still, well, they're not really that thick though, that's the problem, but at least you can, you know, try and get stuff built in so it's a lot, because it's going to be a pretty condensed oh, yeah. area. Um, and, and I just thought that, you know, that trip going with a, just a straight bench seat over bouncing all over for the amount yeah. of miles they're going, it's going to be really, really tough. I mean, we can put something like by building, we could put memory foam or something that would be, you know, take away the fatigue and yeah. stuff. And, um, well, and I don't have a problem in pulling the interior out. I wasn't worrying about that, but I was thinking about what do, what, what do you need for space in terms of like what's... Like if I looked at this, would, would this be the floor? Is that yeah. where, so it, nothing yeah, there will change? That the floor comes straight across. It's okay. actually just wood paneling. Okay. So, what about the height difference between Jenny and I? Cause that's, this can't be moved, right? No, you're no, gonna have, can't. you have that now anyway. You can't move those because you know, it's, yeah, it's part of the frame. But what about yeah. if we built it such that we built two panels and you took one seat off and put the and just moved the cushions over and kept the back as the same. Just have it Velcro on to yeah. the frame. Yeah. Hmm. Or even you know have a couple okay. of uh, T nuts or something that are really easy to them for, to bolt. So what I'm thinking about here, Dave, um, is the idea that let's say we built one cushion here and one cushion there. So there's two right. separate cushions. This one maybe is a little bit higher for Jenny, and that one is a little bit lower, so that you, you could just take up. this one up and move it over oh, to the other side. It's actually not the height so much; it's just the the back. What do you mean the back? To go closer, I just use like just one sit, little pillow. Lean forward. Oh, I just, I see. Yeah, but my height is pretty good. So you you won't be especially it's, standing up there. It, hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to what you think. <laughs> I can, okay. I can well, see. Well, we're, we're at this point, we're just talking about it. So, I mean, if that's you don't need idea. it, that's fine. That's even better. But um, I guess the question is, where's the heater going to go, do you think? And what's it going to take up, do you know? Well, it depends on what route we go. I, I, we haven't really talked too extensively about it, but uh, they do make fairly economically shaped How big is it? Uh, heaters that you can place elsewhere and just duct it up to the, uh, the passenger area. So we were actually thinking even put it in the back. Oh, okay. And then I put it in the front. It. Yes. I like to have it in it the front. It won't work in the back. Well, the, we won't have any control over it if it's uh, like, you'd have to do yeah. a lot of running of controls and stuff. It has to be next to her leg. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. And I don't think it has to be a big one if you're gonna or have it Or even a defrost, right? How, even how to much be able to defrost it. How much space do you have with that panel? Probably not 